There's no doubt where a scouting report starts on the Louisa Muscatine Falcons after week one of the high school football season. Stop Brandon Tomer. He had 320 yards rushing in the Falcons' opening week victory. But as the Wilton Beavers lined up against L&M, the Beavers knew they weren't necessarily facing a one-dimensional offense. It's a huge play. Let's go. The Beavers get busy from the get-go. On their first play from scrimmage, Tyler Hetzler fires to Caleb Schmidt. He gives it up to Coy Snyder. A little trickery to start the game. 55-yard dash to the house, and it's 8-0 Wilton just 28 seconds into the game. Louisa Muscatine's defense keeps the pressure on, though. That's Brandon Beery darting in for the quarterback sack. Late in the second quarter play, the Falcons are driving, and they face fourth down, and they convert as Tomer gets it done on the four-yard gain. But they face fourth down again on that drive, and Wilton's Eric Gray comes through, breaking up the pass play, turning the ball over on downs. Then that starts a two-minute drill for the Beavers. Hetzler getting fancy, hitting Schmidt, and that moves the sticks on third and long. And with just 17 seconds to go in the half, Snyder is in from the four, and it's 14-0 Beavers at the intermission. In the third quarter, a huge one for the home team. Snyder picks up 20 of his 102 yards rushing to get to midfield. Soon after, Hetzler to Snyder, 27-yard catch and run to pay dirt. It's 22 to nothing, Wilton. Wilton's run defense coming through, getting it done, holding L&M to 198 yards rushing. That's down from 642 the week before. Turnovers now turning the tide once again as Wilton's Gray pounces on it at the Louisa Muscatine 31. And a few plays later, Hetzler, perfect 20-yard toss for the touchdown to Schmidt. It's 30 to nothing. In all, Wilton scores 24 points in the third quarter of play. That's Hetzler to Schmidt again, 38 nothing. Wilton's defense continues to pitch the shutout into the fourth quarter of play as Gray zeroes in to drop his man for a loss on fourth down, and Wilton caps off the night. Hetzler scrambling, scrambling, he's scrambling. He covers some 60 yards, but it scores from the 26 on the TD dash, making it 44-0, and that's the final as Wilton moves to 2-0 and ready for district play next week. We do a lot of film study and we try to figure out what the, obviously, like every coach does across the state, is try to figure out what the weaknesses are and what our strengths are. And we went to that on the very first play. We're able to score right away and do some really nice things. And then, you know, we kind of got the momentum going into halftime, getting that last, uh, that last score before half. Um, you know, the thing I was talking about in the huddle at, at the end of the game is uh, our defense, you know, we gave up some yards. We knew we were going to give up some yards. You can't stop a team like that completely. But we, we bent, but we didn't break. You know, we didn't give up any points. Having a shutout tonight was an outstanding job by our team. The thing I really like about it is, you know, you look if you look on defense, you look on offense and special teams, a lot of guys contributed to this win. I'm very proud of my team. Well, honestly, too, it's like that. that's all they needed to do was uh, run the ball last week, too. I mean, uh, that awareness that they could be more than one-dimensional, I'm sure that was uh, part of your game plan. Too. Yeah, there's no doubt. We were prepared. I, they have a very good team. I think they returned, you know, a majority of their starters from last year, and we had a lot of respect for them going in. And, but I thought our kids did a really nice job in carrying out our game plan. Coaches always say from uh, week one to week two, it's uh, that's kind of the, the, the telling point. To of where you're really at. I think we made some nice improvements. You know, I thought actually last week we had a pretty decent game, opening game. And so we did, but we did make some nice improvements and I think we have a long ways to go. And uh, I think our kids are hungry and they want to continue to improve. They're not satisfied. What's your message as you face week three now? Yeah. Message is get better. You know, we can't start to coast. It's it's now district time. These first two games are kind of warm-up games. It's district. This is what matters to us. We want to make it back to the state playoffs again this year. And, and for that to happen, we've got to continue to get better and continue to work hard as a team and get, um, work in week in, week out. There's no way, there's no staying even. you got to get better all the time. We just came out strong. We uh, kind of faded off a little bit, and uh, our offense kind of simmered down. But our defense stayed strong the entire, the entire time, and we uh, – we kept them to zero points in the first half and second half, but then we finally came back in that second or two minute offense and scored in that uh, first half to build momentum. How important is it to you as a quarterback to watch your defense thrive out there to, to really, like Coach said, keep them between the 20? It feels good. makes me feel comfortable that I can have a lead and I can make, I can make a few errors, but learn from them, obviously. And uh, it just it builds comfort around me. I feel more, 
I could feel more comfortable with myself. Mm -hmm. You guys really had some nice balance offensively too. I mean, that that had them messed up a little bit, even like your last run there. Covered like 80 yards, but it only was 20, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, uh, we were able to pass the ball, run the ball is quite effective, and uh, they didn't quite have an answer for our offense. Mm -hmm. How big a deal is it that you guys need to be multidimensional now as you go into district play too to be really hard to defend? Oh, it's extremely big. We got a couple ranked teams in our district, and uh, we got to build off this game and keep our offense going and uh, use every weapon we have possible. I think it was right after halftime. You know, we came in halftime. You know, we were up, but we weren't satisfied with where we were at. And then kickoff, I think Mays had a big hit, kind of got the team pumped, and we just built from there, kind of snowballed it from there. Talk about, too, I mean, where you guys want to be. How, how does this team still have to develop if you're going to be a tough uh, team when November rolls around? Uh, I definitely think we need to be more disciplined. I know myself, I had a couple false start penalties, and we had a couple penalties in the first half. We probably had about six in the first half. And I think we really need to trim those down, be a smart football team, and uh, just all work as one. You guys can really be balanced on offense, too. I mean, how difficult do you, do you hope, I guess, too, that you are to defend? Yeah, I think, I mean, ground game was working tonight. I think, I know the passing game was working tonight. And uh, we just, you never, we have a lot of options on offense and we're, we're deep too. You know, I can go out of the game and Mays can come in and run the ball just as good as I can. Mm -hmm. we're, we're pretty deep on offense. Mm -hmm. How great are nights like this uh, in your young life? You know? <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, right. There's no better feeling in the world. Hey, Louisa Muscatine and Wilton coaches and athletes. Let's get Fellowship of Christian Athletes going at your schools. You can either contact me for more information or check out our two great websites to find out more. Go to www.fca.org or illowafca.org. Yeah, we're going to go. Good work. Good work. Nice job, guys. Good luck, guys. Nice job, guys. Good work. Good luck, guys. Nice work. Nice job, guys. Nice job, guys. Good luck, guys. Nice job.